are you in the industry? Yes, I am. And and uh, as a mother or as a, ch a child, a as a daughter, for example, I know that you're a daughter um, and I know that you're a scientist. Um, would you ever uh, allow your mother to use a product that you didn't research fully before you uh, supported her choice to to use that product? No. Um, as sure. as a as a daughter who loves her mother and doesn't want her mother to die prematurely, um, you are obviously going to make sure that your mother makes informed decisions. So I'm la I'm I'm kind of laughing at this because this guy did apparently did no research, um, and B, um, you know, and we brought this up earlier in our in our in our conversation before we went live. But one of the things that sort of irked me about the Australia Senate hearings was that every time a pro vaping academic or or a pro vaping scientist spoke. Uh, one of the senators did this like as his first question for every every group or every speaker during the hearing was bring up the uh, framework convention on tobacco control and the the language in the uh, the, the the treaty or whatever that um, makes everybody disclose their finances. Did you do you or have you ever accepted money from? tobacco companies um and it seemed like they're wielding that uh as a weapon to discredit scientists um and obviously we've already uh, come across this in the past a, a lot of great scientists have been maligned and their Slender. work questioned just because at some point in their professional career they've worked for a tobacco company or a vaping company or that they've somehow derived some income. And, you know, Dr. Wodek, we played the video on the show twice now. I'm not going to play it again uh, in his response to that. But um, anytime I see this, and I'm, I'm pointing at the monitor with that quote still on it, uh, it really gets my, it just makes me mad because science is science and you can refute science based on science, but, to refute science based on who you work for or where you uh, get your paycheck is a lot of crap, in my opinion. Um, I'm going to try to be nice and not curse a lot while Eliana is a guest because she's trying to be uh, 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 above. Proper. She's trying to be proper. Yeah, that's the word I should say. She doesn't want to. She doesn't want to come across as one of us. One of us crazy people. Chuckleheads, there is a third part to this question, and I, I believe I know the answer. Did you, Eliana, at any point risk your career by not using any of those things, data, research, or science, ever? You I know? Mean, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't... I'm risking my professional life as a pharmacist right now because I'm involved in the vaping world. And that's it. I know it's the true. It's a fact. Uh, not that like I cannot be part of the pharmaceutical industry again. Actually, maybe I can. If they give me a million dollars to speak bad bad things about vaping, you know, maybe why not? No, I'm just kidding. But what I'm trying to say is that um, science it's it's a complex um, it, it's complex in this because you can use it to to display whatever you want. Okay. Anyway, having a product that is at least ninety five percent safer than smoking, if I devote my entire scientific life to, to be focused on that 5% and to find everything bad on that 5%, I can make a, a whole life with that, you know? I can die and I can keep all my, my whole professional life speaking bad things about vaping, you know? And that science will never stop. But my question is, who would be able to see the whole picture, to understand the whole picture and the implications of that picture? I'm sure that a lot of you guys, even if you are not very connected with the science, the world of science, you feel it. You you kind of feel that you know there's something in here that there is a yeah. truth that hasn't been told. And obviously, as a vapor, you got you guys know it better than than me. I, before this this thing of vaping, when my mom was killing herself with cigarettes, 
I was completely unaware of this world, but for me, it was kind of like a common sense. It's not combustion. It is vapor, it's vaping, maybe pyrolysis, but I didn't, even if this is not something that impacts me personally, that affects someone I love a lot, uh, my common sense and logic was, no, vaping definitely is better. 